Today we're going to be talking about bullet whizzes or the sound effect that plays when a bullet nearly misses you in player unknowns battlegrounds. I got the footage and broke it down so I can tell you guys how best to handle this sometimes overwhelming sound effect. So first off, bullet whizzes and bullet cracks will only happen when the player firing the weapon is about 15 meters away from you. Within that distance there will be no bullet whiz, no bullet crack sound effect, not entirely sure why that is but just something to take away. The other thing to note before we get really into it is that Battlegrounds actually has a semi-realistic sound engine. You will always see the muzzle flash before you hear the gunshot or the bullet whiz and if the ammunition is supersonic you will actually hear the bullet whiz and the bullet crack before you even hear the initial shot from the rifle. So as long as the bullet passes somewhat nearby you, you will hear a whizzing sound effect. The distance for this is actually pretty generous. It seems to be a few, maybe five meters away from you. If a bullet travels within that radius of you, you are going to hear a whizzing sound effect. Now if the ammunition is supersonic, once that bullet gets closer to you, you're actually going to hear a crack. It's very loud and the closer it gets, the louder it gets to the point where it can be overwhelming and somewhat deafening. Now only supersonic Sonic ammunition makes that crack. Subsonic ammunition does not crack, but you will always still hear it whiz. Now, for the most part, most weapons in this game fire supersonic ammunition, but the 1911 does fire subsonic, as does the revolver. The crossbow obviously is subsonic ammunition, and the VSS fires subsonic ammunition, which is what makes it such a good stealth sniper rifle. The Tommy gun and the Vector also fire subsonic ammunition, so all those weapons listed just now will not crack. They will only do the bullet whiz sound effect no matter how close you get to the person you are firing at. So now the question becomes, if you're under fire from an unknown attacker and you hear whizzes and cracks going off all around you, how do you determine his position? And the answer is a little bit complicated. The position of the crack and the bullet whiz don't really tell you anything about the location of the attacker. It only tells you the location of the bullet as it passed by you. It doesn't even really inform you of the direction the bullet was traveling. So the best bet here is to completely ignore the bullet whizzes and the bullet cracks, which can be hard because they're quite overwhelming, and instead try to focus on the sound effect of the initial gunshot, as you can use that positional audio to instead tell you the location or direction of your attacker. This is kind of counterintuitive and most people will focus on the loudest sound which typically tends to be the supersonic crack and that's why oftentimes they can get overwhelmed and taken advantage of instead of actually responding to the threat if they had instead tried to isolate the sound for just the initial gunshot. Now this becomes more complicated with silenced weapons as silenced weapons can have audible range fall offs that are very short. For instance with a silenced UMP you will not be able to hear the initial gunshot if the attacker is more than 100 meters away. You will still, however, be overwhelmed with cracks and bullet whizzes as they fire upon you. In this clip here, my friend went to a random location and began firing upon me. I did not know where he was. He had a silenced UMP, was more than 100 meters away, and I tried my best to locate him. And the truth is, is it's nearly impossible. You have to just get lucky on a visual location. And without the presence of a muzzle flash because of the silencer, that is very, very difficult. He basically had to tell me where he was. In fact, I was so overwhelmed I even glanced over him a few times and was not able to accurately, consistently, or successfully really identify the threat. So the takeaway here, guys, is pretty simple. Bullet whizzes happen when anyone shoots somewhat near you. If they're firing supersonic ammunition, you are going to hear a crack as those bullets travel closer to you. Now, try your best not to rely on the whizzes and the cracks to determine the location of your shooter. Instead, try and isolate the sound of the initial gunshot and use that to potentially inform where the shooter is located. And if that person has a silencer, or if you're unable to locate that initial gunshot, your best bet is to just hide and get in as much much cover as you possibly can because he could really be anywhere. And finally, this furthers my theory that the silencer is one of the best attachments in the game. The utility of being able to completely destroy someone's ability to locate you as an attacker is huge and will give you a massive advantage. All right, guys, I'm going to be doing some more bite-sized content like this coming forward. I just added a member to my family, so I have a little bit less time, but I'm still going to try and get a video out a week. I want to give a shout out to LazyGun8. Of course, he helped me check out the description for his Twitch. I want to give a huge shout out to Aegis7, the gaming community. They are incredibly kind. They've worked with me to help me get access to a custom server. They're great guys. Check them out. I'm going to throw a link to them in the description. And tweet at the developers, tweet at the community managers, tweet at player 
unknown himself with the hashtag server for Magnum. Let's try and get that trending. Just show him that there are people out there who care to see me get a custom server, who care to make me a partner so I can produce more content so you guys can continue to get the advantage and learn the breakdowns of everything Battlegrounds. Guys, check my description for Twitch and Twitter. I'm Magnum Dopus. Keep crunching those numbers.